Hey, this is Nellie's Farm. It is October 13th, or 14th, I believe, 2024. It's a beautiful late morning here in northeast Alabama, way out in the country. I discovered something earlier I wanted to show you guys regarding Bigfoot. Now, I haven't talked about Bigfoot too much in the past, but I have... So many experiences that I could write literally books about it. And, uh, <coughs> I, uh, I wanted to, uh, I have put a few, uh, videos up about experiences. Only a few. So if this isn't your thing, you could just leave now. I wanted to tell you. But, uh, anyone who laughs at the notion, just know that I used to do the same thing. Until about 16 years ago in rural Oklahoma when we began being stalked by two of them. Uh, two males, an adolescent or a child, whatever, and an adult male. And uh, we've had activity ever since. They followed us. Um, the activity followed us to Ohio and down here. And you can believe me or not. You can laugh. I expect that. But after you have been through the shit that my family has, it's not a laughing matter anymore, and now, after all these years, I'm pretty much, you know, just, we just ignore it. We don't even talk about it if something happens anymore. That's how common it is. Um, it's not a big deal. If they were a threat to us, then we would have known it a long time ago. But, uh, and there's Isabel. So, anyway, I used to leave apples back here, but it's been a few years because no one took them for a while, so I just kind of stopped. But something's been back here again. And, um, another thing. This is the time of year where the activity picks up. Now, I don't know, <coughs> excuse me, I was thinking maybe because it's, uh, cooler out and this is probably better weather for them. But some of them, are, I don't think, are just biological I think some of them are interdimensional. As a matter of fact, I know that. And I'll probably get more laughs, but I don't care. I'm not here to just make money off of this or recognition or fame. I'm just documenting a little bit of it. I respect them. And I leave them be, except for a few gifts I leave them. And they've le left, left me some too, by the way. So I'm not going to be one of those idiots out at night, you know. Oh my god, what's that? Oh my gosh! I can't stand content like that, and I won't watch it. It's ridiculous. Even if it is real, they are... A lot of it's not, but even if it is, they are... You know, they're, they're, they need to leave them alone. They've been around probably before we have, if you look into the history of them. And I have the utmost respect for them. And they respect me. And they leave me alone as a result. And you don't want to piss them off, trust me. <laughs> but anyway, I walked back here. I saw this branch. Do you see that down big branch right there in, in the middle? I saw that. <coughs> and from the garden area, I was picking up some things out of the garden. This wasn't here like two days ago. Maybe yesterday, I'm not sure. Because I haven't been back here in like a week. But I always just glance back here, you know. So what they do is they uh, they tend to... By the way, I did capture one on video in one of my previous videos. And it was hiding behind a tree. It was trying to, but it, without success. And you can see it faintly. Um, you know, if, if I didn't get, a, you know, really any um, response about that. And it is barely noticeable. I know what to look for, so... <laughs> But um, it is noticeable. You just have to know when to look at the video. If you want to go back like a month, maybe. Um, anyway, uh, it was kind of obvious. I believe it was that bigger tree right there. He, yeah, it was. He was trying to hide behind. And, of course, they're too big. We've got all kinds of critters. There's Tutu Kitty coming. Pepper, Isabel. Tutu goes around looking for the mice and the swamp rats. We have a lot of swamp rats here. Anyway... This was not here, and uh, what they do is they use sticks and stuff to make boundaries. Um, sometimes you'll see a big X. That's pretty common. 
Now, and if you're ever traveling the interstates and you don't know much about this, watch the sticks and limbs. Watch them. Hey, buddy. Hey, cute, cute kitty. Watch the sticks, and if you see them sticking out or um, in a weird position, and uh, that that's them marking their territory. <clears throat> and one of my subs corrected me some time ago. This is a sycamore tree, not a birch. Funny how the bark is peeling, and I found out you can actually get syrup out of these, like maple. I had no idea, you guys. So look. Look at these. The sticks are, they're in kind of a formation. This one, I threw there earlier. It was in my way. These, do you see a pattern here? Now, my phone's kind of crappy for a camera. I actually have this little Amazon camera. I don't know how to use it and no one will show me. Do you see how they're laying? Do you see the pattern? Somebody put a border here is what they did. And this was not like this. I don't know about yesterday. I don't know if I glanced over here, but it definitely wasn't the day before. And then this one. So someone's put a... Now, I don't know if they did that to protect me or just to warn others. Um, <coughs> I put an apple in the tree, so I'm going to start this again. It's been a while since I put apples and treats out, but you can see it is right there. I got to put it high enough so a possum or a raccoon don't get it. And that's what I would do. I'd wedge it real tight in the arm of a tree. Now, the only thing I'd get that is a big old buck, which there is one around here. Of course, I guess critters can climb. But if it was a big foot, I'll know. I know the signs now. They don't leave tracks very often either. They're hard to track, but I've only seen a really good track one time, and that was back in Oklahoma in the mud. It was plain as day. But anyway, we'll see if they take it. Now, the last time I put an apple up was two years ago. I was headed to work. I checked to see if the apple was still here. And it was, and I turned around, going back to the Jeep to go to work. And something threw that apple at me. <laughs> I should do not. It landed in this path. And I thought, what? <laughs> I've had acorns thrown at me, too. And you can never see what's doing it. I call them the forest spirits. Maybe it's a cloaked Bigfoot. But I think it's... Um, which that is true, by the way. That's that's real. And, uh, yeah, I know probably more laughs, but it's real. But anyway... Hey! Tutu Kitty! They're fighting over who's going to be by Mama. Sometimes he's a bully. So I wanted to um, share that with you. And... Like I said, I'm not, I mean, I'll show you a few things, but, and tell you a few things, but I'm not going to chase after them, because that's when they shut everything off. One time, I went back by the barn when I heard constant hoot owls, which I did the other night, too. That's another reason I know they're back. They got closer and closer to the house. In Oklahoma, in rural Oklahoma, northeast, by the way, they uh, whistled. They, they whistled. The, to get my attention, they whistle, whistled at each other, and <clears throat> here they they hoot like an owl. Now my son didn't believe that until <laughs> years ago. He had his window open over there towards the woods, and uh, his bedroom window, and he started hearing the hoots, and they got closer and closer and closer. There's two of them that usually hoot back and forth until they were right up by his window. Now I don't think owls would do that. And he hurried up and he closed the window real quick. And that's just what they do here. So I'm going to make a separate little video about other ways that I know they're around. Thanks for watching.